Serving you on TV, online, and on the go. This is Valley News Live at 5. We're in a much more normal market than we've been in a long time. Um, it is relatively even now. Um, buyers have more opportunities to look at houses before they have to make a decision. Sellers are still being able to sell their houses. A new report says the hot housing market in Fargo is cooling down. Realtor.com says Fargo has fallen from the top 20 hottest housing markets to the bottom 50 percent. But local officials say not so fast. Valley News Team's Melanie Palmer has our story on the Fargo housing market that's getting cooler but isn't cold. It is different um, than we're, what we've been used to the last couple of years, but it's not bad. It's still a good market. Houses are still selling. Houses are still appreciating. According to a recent report, the Fargo housing market is ranked 166 out of 300 metro areas in the country. In 2012, it was ranked the 16th hottest market in the nation. So why the significant shift? Locally here now, obviously the oil boom is not as strong as it was. The agriculture economy is not as strong as it has been. Um, we are seeing some effects to the local economy, but year over year, our stats continue to increase. Jobs have brought many people to the area that caused a new growth and development, such as apartments and townhomes. But before that scares you from putting your house on the market, there's something you need to know. The rest of the country right now is increasing tremendously. They're in a regrowth period right now where the economies are coming back, jobs are coming back. And since we didn't fall nearly as far, they're making much more strides as they come from where they were near the bottom to back to normal levels. Ostley says that Fargo is in a more normal market than previously. He claims that buyers have more opportunities to look at houses before making decisions and sellers are selling their homes. We sold more homes this year, year to date than we did last year, um, which was more than the year prior. The rate of growth may not be as high as it used to be, but it's still growth and it's still positive. Ostley tells us that everything is going the right direction in the Fargo housing market, but it's just not at the same pace as previous years. In Fargo, Melanie Palmer, Valley News Live. According to the report, North Fargo looks to be doing better than other parts of the city. Ostley says the rate of sales really depends on the season. We're back to warm and sunny. Got rid of the cooler weather, but we couldn't quite shake the wind. Hutch, anything to worry about this evening? Oh, really, our weather is quite fantastic. There is a little bit of that wind, but our temperatures, the big thing that changed, were 15 degrees warmer this hour than we were yesterday at this time in and around the Red River Valley. Temperatures are as warm as the mid 80s in parts of southern and western South Dakota. A lot of 60s and 70s in our neck of the woods as we head into the evening. Here's a look at your wind speeds presently from the south. 15 to 20 miles per hour, a few gusts higher than that across the region. As we go through the evening, our wind speed will be pretty persistent. So expect that 15 to 25 mile per hour wind to continue. With clear skies, we'll see temperatures slowly falling through the 60s this evening. Very pleasant for this time of the year, minus those winds. Grand Forks, much the same. Your temperatures in the 60s. And after sunset and when it's bedtime, we'll slip into the 50s. All in all, pretty quiet minus those winds. More wind as we uh, close out the work week. We have warm weather, we have cool weather, we have chance of rain to talk about, and we'll fill you all in here in a few minutes. All right, thank you. You bet. The Stutzman County Narcotics Task Force has reported that a wanted fugitive has been arrested. Authorities say that 24-year-old Levi Guthmiller was arrested without incident. Guthmiller had an arrest warrant for felony possession of a controlled substance and fleeing a police officer. Officers are still looking for 25-year-old Janessa Ryan, who is wanted for failing to report after being sentenced to prison time. She is white, about 5'6", around 150 pounds, with green eyes and brown hair. She was reportedly last seen in either the Jamestown or Carrington areas. If found, the public is encouraged to use caution and call 911 immediately or Stutzman County Dispatch 252-9000. 12 Republicans and 12 Democrats have signed on to legislation that aims to shore up the Affordable Care Act and keep premiums from spiking next year. But despite the bipartisan support, it still faces an uphill challenge with President Trump leading the resistance to it. Mola Lenghi has more details from Capitol Hill. And that we're here today to present to the Senate the agreement we recommend.
Republican Senator Lamar Alexander and Democratic colleague Patty Murray introduced a bipartisan bill Thursday that would stabilize Obamacare. When members of Congress decide to get past our talking points and take a few steps out of our partisan corners, there is a lot we can agree on. The plan attempts to stabilize the individual market by reinstating subsidies for insurance companies to bring down the cost of coverage for low-income Americans for two more years. The president has gone back and forth on whether he will support the legislation, but he also says the subsidies are a bailout for insurance companies. I don't want the insurance companies making any more money because then they have to. However, the subsidies don't actually end up padding the insurance company's bottom lines. That money ends up covering the doctors, hospital and lab expenses for the people who use Obamacare. Senator Alexander says without the subsidies, insurance premiums will spike. Unless they're replaced with something else temporarily, there will be chaos in this country and millions of Americans will be hurt. But despite the bipartisan support, there are those on both sides who say the bill is only a short-term fix. I'm still looking at it. I have concerns about it. It's not ideal. Republican leaders have not yet said whether they would support a vote on the Alexander Murray bill. Mola Lenghi, CBS News. Capitol Hill. Meanwhile, our Washington bureau spoke with North Dakota U.S. Senator Heidi Heitkamp about this legislation putting a two-year delay on the health insurance tax. We heard from insurance commissioners, we heard from providers, we heard from governors, we heard from our constituents saying these premiums are too high on the individual marketplace and there's less certainty. We don't know if those products are going to be available. We're trying to respond to those concerns, but it is just a first step. And I don't want anyone to think that we're done if this passes. A bipartisan group of governors has also signed a letter to Congress urging them to support the plan. Something new at the Fargo Air Museum. It's something that speaks to the rich heritage of this area and sacrifices made to protect this country and our freedom. With much pride and in a solemn but colorful ceremony, North Dakota's tribal color guards today presented their, their tribal flags to the museum. There are five native nations in North Dakota, each with a special flag signifying their rich history. The flags are a way the museum is honoring the memory and history of Native Americans who have died in military service. It's a very honorable, honorable to, to be asked to, to recognize our Native American veterans from all five tribal nations. The flags will become part of a permanent display at the museum. There's a new pizza place in Fargo that's opened up and we're asking, what is it? Blaze Pizza is taking the place of King Leo's, located at 1443 42nd Street South. This is the chain's first location in North Dakota. Blaze Pizza is known for its blazing fast speed and will have your custom pizza with fresh, made from scratch dough, hot and ready to go for you in three minutes. And for opening day, if you download the Blaze Pizza app, you can come in and get yourself a free pizza. The newest pizza spot is open daily from 11 in the morning until 10 at night. A local business is trying to empower.